Oh dear, Graham. No, look at that. You need to get your hair cut, don't you? Look how long your hair is. Flipping neck. It's like a mammoth or something. I mean, sort it out. You're looking a right steer. So, yes, I haven't cut my hair for like two months, mainly because I'm afraid to go back to the barbers, not because of the whole sharp scissor thing, but uh, because he cut my hair really weird last time when I went. I, I mean, I'll try and show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but this, this is the length of my hair at the front, you know, as, as you can see. And then the length of the hair at the back, for whatever reason, is twice as long. Uh, who who cuts hair like this? So basically I've inadvertently been taking part in hair vember, uh, which is like Movember, except instead of moustaches, I'm just growing my hair. Now usually I would do something with it, even at this length, uh, but this is it, natural. And it very closely represents basically the haircut that I had for the vast majority of my childhood. So I found a series of photographs uh, of my hair through the ages, starting from when I was maybe five or six. Um, I've chosen this picture purely because of the face. I mean, what have I, I'm like, I'll be like, you taking a picture of me? You taking a picture of me? Are you doing you go taking a picture of me? This next picture, uh, basically the same hairstyle. Look at this shirt, jumper combination. I've always been stylish, I have. Uh, I've, I've included this next photo purely because I think this might have been during the times when my mum cut my hair. Uh, I mean, just look at it. It's just like somebody's just put a bowl on top and just whoosh, cut straight across the front. This is probably the longest my hair was when I was younger. I mean, it's nearly coming into my eyes, but as you can see, almost identical to how it's currently looking at the moment. I mean, it's obviously longer in the photo. Again, I don't know what sort of age, but I would guess 13-ish, give or take a year. Uh, either way, God knows. Uh, but look at those sunglasses. I'm pretty sure they're ladies' sunglasses. Um, but I can pull them off, eh? I can pull them off. You know, that's just how cool I was. Uh, and then oh, going into high school, um, yeah, this is probably the last time uh, that I had sort of regular hair. You know, it's a little bit shorter, but the same, still sort of same style, uh, because then I went and discovered hair gel uh, and things things got spiky from, from that point. Uh, you know, just really spiky hair. You know, obviously experimenting with hair gel sometimes didn't always work out. This picture as a prime example. Then after that, I kind of got used to the hair gel, uh, you know, and then just wore my hair permanently spiked upwards. Uh, just, just yeah, just up, uh, up and out, because my hair could do that. I'm not 100% sure if my hair can still do that, but I'm gonna give it a shot now, just for laughs, see what happens. Right, so the first step of this uh, sorting my hair out is to just gently wet your hair. This is turning into, it's a completely different video to what I originally planned, but we're gonna run with it, but this is gonna happen. Uh, it's, it's a hair tutorial on how to make your hair look weird. Right, good. So yeah, just apply it to your hands and then just, I don't know, rub it, rub it into your hair. I'm not an expert. I mean, obviously gel will give it that sort of really aggressive spiky look that you might be after. Uh, whereas fibre putty gives it sort of this sort of, the strands of hair still have individuality. Uh, you know, they're not all clumping together. So there we have it, that's uh, that's how my hair looked. You can have it down, there you go. So if, you, if you've got like a meeting or an interview and you're like, yeah, I wanna look a little bit serious, but still look really cool, just wear your hair down like that. Um, but then if you know you're going out on a night time and you're like, whoa, let's go a little bit crazy, you can be like, whoa, yeah, yeah, whoa, whoa. It's like the adverts, isn't it? With it where they, they just have silly hair. It's just like, buy this product and you can have hair like that. But you're like, well, why would I want to have hair like that? It just looks silly. I suppose if you ever wanted to pretend you were a character out of Dragon Ball Z, you can do that. If you don't know what that is, a Japanese cartoon from years ago. So there you have it. That pretty much covers everything, I think. In conclusion, really need to get my hair cut. Definitely need to sort that out. Rawr. Very like, why would I want to have hair like that? It just looks silly.